Oh, another response to my wonderful haters. And uh, actually, I, I wouldn't call uh, this group haters. I'd call them immature kids. Okay. And I'm going to address it. And uh, I want you to share your opinions and tell me if I'm right or wrong. Okay. You must have seen uh, the videos where I talk about uh, women, uh, you know, exposing them on social media, their face, their body. and Okay. And I posted that video that they're not marriage material. And then I also uh, spoke about, uh, uh, you know, females who are craving for attention or promiscuous or sex. Uh, you should not marry them. And so what I got is, I'm just paraphrasing. I don't want to name anyone specifically. This uh, group of 20-year-olds, out of all the people, 20-year-olds, huh, they got triggered. And they're also not ladies, boys, young men, they got triggered. And what was their uh, argument or the logical point? Uh, some of them, what they said is, number one, who are you to judge? First one is, who are you to judge? Okay, who appointed you? That's number one. Number two was, uh, Law, you're such a hypocrite. I'm a hypocrite. Because when you are young, you had fun. Okay. Now, just because you have a daughter, okay, now you have changed. You're such a hypocrite, okay? Then third one was what? Uh, what? Uh, huh? Why is it okay for men to fuck around? Huh? Why is it not okay for women to fuck around? That was another one. This. All these are 20-year-olds, huh, by the way. And then uh, last one was what? Uh, uh, Loy. You, what, you have done all this shit. You have been uh, like a male whore and you have slept around. Who are you to lecture us? Okay, I'll answer all these. And yeah, you have a valid point. I'm not saying you don't have a valid point. Obviously, it should be answered. First and foremost, before anything else. Okay, tell me if I'm wrong. Huh? I'm 47, going to be 50. Okay. What is the level of experience I have, the ups and downs, okay, versus someone who's still in college, someone who's still under mummy and daddy's expense, someone who has not had a single job, who doesn't look after himself, forget his mother and father, doesn't look after himself, doesn't look after anyone, has zero experience, doesn't even know how to craft and create his own profile resume, doesn't know how to market and sell himself has not traveled the world, has not seen anything. So such a small, young, like kid, is questioning someone who has done a little bit more than you, who has 30 years more than you, who has double your age. So I am supposed to give you my report card. I am supposed to explain myself to you, to a small boy who is under mummy and daddy. So the first one, that is what sometimes I wonder. And here's the thing. What or how can I explain to someone who doesn't have any life experiences? In fact, some of them don't even, they have not even had their first girlfriend. Not even had their first sexual relationship. Not even had a steady relationship. Forget marriage. They know nothing about all this. And they are asking me, to explain myself to them. <laughs> Funny, right? <laughs> hey, you tell me, huh? tell me, tell me. Uh, have you had sex? No. Have you had a girlfriend? No. But you tell me about relationships. Huh? Why you are doing like this? <laughs> Ever heard of the saying, don't, don't teach your father how to fuck? <laughs> okay. So now the first one is, who am I to judge? Just as you are judging me, you're using, no? See, it's wordplay in English. If I call a prostitute a prostitute and you say this is judging, then aren't we all judging? Aren't you judging me by questioning me? Who are you to judge? So my question is, who appointed you to question me? Who? What is your answer? Who appointed you? Correct, right? You appointed yourself. So just as you appointed yourself and you appointed yourself as a judge to judge me. I appointed myself to judge whomsoever I want. Okay. And here's the thing. 
if i don't call a promiscuous act of sex as a promiscuous act of sex what do i call it exchange of love like how you have in america or the west you don't call him a pedophile you call him a minor loving person minor good no you don't call chopping and cutting off uh, body parts for children you call it transgender care they will not tell you that they are charging 70000 dollars per patient and that is how much money they make no it's called transgender care because if you sit and advise a child maybe you'll get nothing so word play so who are you to judge so this is my response who are you to question me then second one is which this keyboard warrior asked uh what uh, ah one more is there one more is there about cristiano ronaldo and uh, his wife i'll come to that another keyboard warrior kid okay i'll come to that so the second one was uh i was sleeping around before had many women paid sex this and that so now that i have a daughter and i've changed i'm a hypocrite uh all right so as for your logic because before i was sleeping around before i was going to for paid sex so as per your logic after having a daughter i should continue that lifestyle i should be consistent still engage in paid sex or be promiscuous cheat on my wife then i am being consistent as a ah, person of character what he was doing before he is doing now is that what you mean so i shouldn't improve i should continue being the same so then i am correct you see how stupid your logic is and here's the thing you say oh he has a daughter so now you're being overprotective baba which father which father tell me logically huh? this is logic which father is going to say i fucked around with 100 females i hope you get fucked by 100 guys which father is going to say that or which father is going to say my sins of my life i hope it comes on you so that is justified i mean what are you trying to imply or what do you want that i am promiscuous so i raise my child as being promiscuous then where do you factor in that there was nobody to guide me give me proper upbringing but i was born and raised in an abusive childhood so should i continue that because then it's consistent right you know you you're talking from your ass man that's why you are a 20 year old dipshit you are unemployed you are a nothing and nobody in life you are just a fucking keyboard warrior who even your mother and father must be regretting and thinking oh shit what mistake did we make the condom should not have had a hole that is maybe the response your parents must be having in their head and then uh, what is the other one uh, yeah if you can fuck around why can't girls fuck around baba when i was in my promiscuous days fucking around who was i fucking with myself or guys no it was girls when i was fucking around who do i fuck around with girls you think girls are innocent you think girls don't want to have fun you don't think girls sleep with multiple guys so when who do you think i was having fun with someone who is uh, what a uh, spiritually holy uh, you know female who wants to dedicate a life and get married to me there was only one in my entire life the rest everyone wanted to have fun so what is your argument there and here's a simple thing biology men fuck around men will not get pregnant women fuck around they have a chance of getting pregnant now are you going to go and say this is so unfair nature god this is unfair men also should get pregnant what's your fucking logic man see between a man and woman who have sex unprotected who has a chance of getting pregnant simple question so who should take more care and caution simple question right i'm not saying because of that men can fuck around but women can't women have been doing it ages prostitution has existed ages promiscuous women have existed before time immemorial man this is not a new concept so whether you say it or not women are still going to continue when you go to a red light district or when you go to a for sex tourism 
you think those women are all crying and saying oh, i don't want to have no they are standing there welcome come i want to make money come 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 by one shot i'll make more money in 3 months i'll make in one month uh, sorry one day then i'll make in one full month sometimes that one sex encounter one day is what i'll make for 3 months so where will they say no you have not had women in your life that's you are barking like a dog assuming that the precious little pussy you get will be loving you until you die what a nut job yeah immature fucking kid ha ah, and then i had this other keyboard warrior idiot from indian i think indian born and raised i think he is studying in saudi <laughs> he is telling me oh okay if we follow your logic what about cristiano ronaldo's wife she has instagram or social media apparently so what about her hmm you know how much cristiano ronaldo earns have any idea you versus him is there a difference how much he earns you know how hard he worked for his career you know how talented he is you know how gifted he is you know how good looking he is you know how much he has made you know what a global brand is you know what demand he has okay and do you know that he has enough money to maintain her maintain her hobbies maintain her interests maintain everything about her okay so now you are not even 0.0 whatever 20 zeros after that 0.0 whatever percent of ronaldo and you are trying to ask oh so if he has this girl why not is ronaldo a normal situation or is he one in a forget billion one in a generation so exception to the rule does it make it a standard so if uh, cristiano ronaldo does whatever shit he wants to do and his wife is doing whatever shit so you can justify that right you also do that same shit why don't you try getting a girl forget as hot as his wife try getting a girl my dear friend you can't even afford a female forget afford you can't even talk to a girl you can't even get a girl and you're barking like a dog and asking what about cristiano ronaldo's wife get a fucking pussy and show me <laughs> oh, fuck it these kids are like you know I, i wouldn't even throw my you know soiled underwear on their face out of mercy that is how disgusted i get with these you have not done anything worthwhile in your life you have not even earned 100 dollars and you have the audacity to question life and pussy and female and sex and boss you earn first man do you have even money to buy your own fucking condom or you have to go to mama mummy mummy papa i want little money you don't have money to buy your own fucking condom forget having a girl and then you are barking like a dog on social media Ooh, that's why i don't take these these kids seriously not worth <laughs> but yeah good uh, content and good uh, entertainment <sighs> so shame shame today's generation i i pity the mother and father who didn't give proper upbringing to such children what a mistake of having children and uh, raising them up so lost and so confused and who are challenging the authority of people who are old enough to be their parents acting like keyboard warriors but can't earn 100 bucks in bunch of idiots anyway this is another response to 20 year old baby first you get your shelf a nice job okay get 100 200 dollars okay then start talking to a girl say hi to her see if she even tolerates your pimple faced ugly you know lack of manners lack of experience personality do you even have the nut sack to talk to a female <laughs> then 
convince her to be your girlfriend hopefully then after she's your girlfriend and you have your first will do that you know that after you do that then i am become man now i had she gave me bj and i was some youngsters they tell me and i asked him did you have sex you know what these <laughs> youngsters especially girls were they no i did second base not the third base what you did in the second base and the what the fuck is a base no you know there are levels no that's how kids talk the first base second base third base maybe baseball i just fucking asked you did you have sex yes or no no what do you mean by sex oh uh, penetration baba pen is pen you know pen going into apple pineapple you know oh uh, you know that song apple pineapple oh uh. you know that titi kuti kuti ku you know in the vagina that pussy cat you know when rocket goes into pussy into you know enter the dragon when rocket missile goes into the dragon's lair meow <laughs> when bow wow goes to meow meow Ah, Kinel man, eh, these kids. I'll tell you, half of them they wouldn't even have the courage to come on a video call, talk face to face. Yeah, they'll act like assholes. They might even come real and act. But who takes you seriously, boss? Your own parents don't. Your people who know you don't. You can just act like an arrogant prick while living under the mercy of your mum and dad, like a dog. Mummy, mummy, I want pocket money. Mummy, mummy, internet. Mummy, mummy, I don't have credit. <laughs> mummy, mummy. Papa, papa. Uh, you have to drop me to school. <laughs> Been there, done that. But didn't have the self-entitled, ignorant, disrespectful attitude most of today's sorry ass generation has. Anyway, this is what I wanted to share. another episode of haters i think it's good content yeah keep posting shit i'll keep responding at least me and my community community get entertained let me know what you kids think and listen youngsters is 20 whatever age same words your mother and father say same words nothing new stand on your own two feet earn your own fucking money then talk like a dog bark like one no problem others www shut the fuck up dot com got it you're not you're not at our level you're not in our league stay at your pay grade got it this only your f- father would have told you but since your father didn't do a good job i'm telling you okay okay and don't worry about pussy and social media justice rights and about women and promiscuity and oh who are you to judge you focus on your shit first okay okay let me know when you have money to buy your first condom maybe i'll give you some tips on how to use it <laughs> maybe first blow <laughs> put it on your head because that's what you are dickhead Okay yalla take care chalo